Hi, I am in pursuit of protecting citizens from this war against dengue, malaria and mosquito borne diseases. Hello and welcome to In Pursuit Of. Today's guest is Prasad Farke, founder of EcoBioTraps. Welcome Prasad. Thank you Aparna. So Prasad, how do you go about this pursuit of yours? Oh, uh, it's a very interesting, uh, you know, problem to solve, right? We are fighting this war against mosquitoes, you know, and those diseases that they spread, dengue, malaria, chikungunya. There is no vaccine uh, which is present for dengue. We've been dealing with this problem for the last 125 years. Malaria was discovered not in Africa, but in Sikandrabad, India. Right. right. And we're still living with the problem. And, you know, if you have to attain something in life that has never been achieved before, you have to do things that have never been done before. As simple as that. Nice line, Prasad. Yeah. And we took that philosophy and said, OK, let's go build a device like EcoBio Traps which mimics the breeding ground of the female mosquito just by adding water and breaks the cycle of reproduction. And if you could do that, we have another game changer solution in the marketplace. And that's how we do it with EcoBio Traps for you, Aparna. I know you're using some plant-based animal food that's and correct. it's a natural attractant correct. right, for mosquitoes. So what is it that uh, led to this? What triggered this idea? Actually, uh, you know, uh, look at what our forest department does, okay? If you have to catch a man-eater tiger or a leopard, your option number one is take a tranquilizer gun and run behind it. Right. Which is, dhundo dhundo re sajna kab milega malum ne. Right? But they don't do that, right? What they do is they put a bait inside of the cage and draw the predator over here. Right? True. And that really triggered us with the idea that, hey, mosquitoes breed in water. So if we put a bait inside of a water device and attract them, lure them over there and then kill them and kill the future generations, life would be very easy. So it's really inspiration from our forest department, if you will. We need the power of our youthful audience and their questions to take our mission of sharing journeys, experiences to everyone. Do write in to us with your questions for our guests. Today, Anita is with us to ask our guests some questions. Sir, my question is related to this. If I have to buy this product, how much money will I have to pay for it? For you, you have to pay for it. 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 Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Anita. This is a bucket. What happens with this? If you can explain it and is it environmentally sustainable? Oh, sure. So courtesy e-commerce and quick commerce are number one waste generator today. It happens to be those corrugated boxes and they have a bunch of plastic and other layers. So we take that, you know, clean up the plastic, remove it, turn the corrugated boxes into a pulp and then make it hold water and turn it into this form and shape. And after that, we put the sachet inside. The sachet has two functions, if you will. One is attractant and the second is the killing ingredient. So the attractant, uh, you know, ensures that once you add water, there's this whole mark. This is where you add water up to. After adding water, all it needs is just water, by the way. No electricity, no batteries, nothing. After adding water, you know, it attracts the female mosquito. They sense it. It doesn't smell to us. It, there is no fumes that come out of it, nothing. But the female mosquito comes to know that there is an attractant here. She lays the eggs here. And then there is an action called a surface tension or PDMS, 
which basically chokes the female mosquito, deprives her of oxygen and her eggs, larva, pupa of op oxygen. So no chemical used, absolutely chemical free uh, and of the killing action also. So the mosquito also that lays eggs also dies, also gets stuck in? Uh, it will eventually, if not here, at some point of time, it will also die. So the female mosquito also dies. Because of what? Because of that chemical? Because, you know, her, if you weigh, uh, you know, uh, something goes in my nose and then I can't breathe, right? So we use silicon PDMS. It's the same thing that's used, uh, you know, uh, with lipsticks or all of our cosmetics, right? Look at it. If you leave them open in the air, they still don't kind of dissipate down. The reason is because there is no moisture that goes in, which means there is no oxygen that goes in and hence they don't dissipate down, right? Similar the case with this, there is a thin layer that forms on the surface of the water after adding water to this due to the sachet. And that's how the killing action happens. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. So one can attract how many? You might have hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes. Sure. Uh, absolutely not a problem, but it's about the radius that this covers. So this one covers a radius of 400 to 450 square feet. Okay. So irrespective of how many mosquitoes are there, in that particular radius, every female mosquito, it will attract, you know. They breed only in water. Their lifespan is only 15 to 30 days. And the rate at which they multiply beats COVID by a factor of 10. Seriously. So next time, Aparna, a mosquito has bitten you, you have donated blood to create 3 crore mosquitoes in a span of one month. My goodness. Now look at 140 crore population of us and, you know, so many mosquito bites and so many, yeah, the mosquito population at any given point of time is hundreds of trillions. Wow. That, that's that's really like crazy. Yeah, yeah. And think we've been struggling with it forever. Yeah, 125 years now. So tell me now the vulnerable populations, which is largely in the slums. I mean, we people can are also prone to catching any of this, but you know, the vulnerable populations far more so. So how do you uh, price it for them? Health is a state subject. So every state, every municipal corporation, every zilla, Parishad, you know, Gram Panchat, all of them are independent in doing what they want to do with obviously prescribed template from the union government, right? And their job primarily is exactly to protect the vulnerable, you know, below the poverty line, those kind of uh, segments, right? So the Bombay Municipal Corporation or Mumbai Municipal Corporation eventually and now uh, the Bangalore Municipal Corporation, BBMP or the government of Karnataka uh, wants to distribute these kind of devices free to people who can't afford it, right? And people who can afford it can still buy, uh, you know, from the retail counter. Look at what we did with, uh, you know, so this is mosquito population control, right? It has a very parallel analogy with what we do in human population control. Right, in human population control, contraceptives, irrespective of the gender, were distributed free by the government to the underprivileged, to the marginalized society. And people who can afford can go to the chemist shop next door or you can even order this on any of, you know, the online platforms or you can blink at it if you will. And, you know. Lovely. So, so Prasad, tell me, have you managed to get any impact numbers? Or how do you uh, know that this is actually benefiting these many people in this much time? Oh, so good question. You know, WHO has a protocol for these kind of devices like you have with, you know, any other, you know, vaccine or whatever, you know, a test case and a control case. So what you do is you deploy devices in a test area, in a control area, measure the results, look at how much the mosquito population has dropped down. So this device versus any other device has ability to attract 2x more and from a killing standpoint it's 95-98% making sure that there are no adults that emerge out if that's the number. Also eventually um, and this doesn't happen overnight but over a period of time when you use it for a year or so then the cases over there like this time in Dharavi in the 18 clusters that we operate a population of 3 lakh that we are being that we are doing an endeavor to protect with in that area not a single 
dengue case has happened right wow. now could you could you achieve that in a month no that's been over 2 years of work and you know other different things uh, you know being complemented with it to get to that level that's pretty amazing so so tell me uh, so the so the bmc is really cooperating on this front clearly we just had to do scientific evidence generation to prove you know it's no brainer it was working it it's working for them like a surveillance device for example when they see malaria mosquitoes or malaria breeding over here they do an combing operation in an area of say 500 meters or so and they then they find the mother source and then they treat the mother source so it's helping them from a surveillance standpoint too there's so many mosquito repellent products and it's also hard to catch a regular customer's eye and you know to build trust with them right what's your go to market strategy we are fighting a war against all these mosquito borne diseases and only science is going to help us win this war what we do currently is we put repellents around which is really repelling them away which is shifting the problem you know it's a game of musical chairs aparna if you will you know 10 people running around seven chairs because you are saying don't bite me bite the next person next door that's shifting the problem the problem will continue or you are going to kill them one by one and you know you take those rackets and all of this right now i told you that one mosquito bite results into 3 crore mosquitoes ek ek karke kitne ko maro one by one how much are we able to kill it right hence doing source reduction is this so getting this message out is important you know building credibility or trust as you said which is you know you get your lighthouse customers first to use it and then you develop you know it's about one to one one to some one to many and one to infinite right that's the journey very simple right so you make sure you have one to one customers who are you know who have been successful in it take their testimonials and then you know go through the journey of one to one one to some one to many one to infinite second is work with government so that then you have and develop scientific evidence you know uh, to the story do that uh, and then uh, you know building trust is really you know you have to give it the product in the hand of the customers and for them to be your voice so you take those uh, and then distribute on different kind of platforms and once you start to see like you know cnn saw our work in uh, dharavi and they happily did an episode uh, you know for 10 minutes covering you know the impact that we had in uh, in dharavi uh, you know uh, yeah and so you know, the, the word of mouth just spreads so in these 3 years you've been working with two state governments you also you also have some tie up with the un if i'm not mistaken the product seems to be fantastic so i'm curious to know why hasn't it taken on more uh, this thing you know why why isn't it everywhere so good question you know our you know our gtm or when we looked at the problem you know we said okay let's first tackle you know three important segments and first two and then the third would come later right now the first segment that we said was let's go after b2b right which is your hotels hospitals all of that right and when we started to do certain proof of concepts and started to win accounts you know we got the attention of rentokill pci pest control india right world's and country's largest pest control provider you know 1000 locations 300 districts 22 states 5000 people right so pci for our last 6 8 months has been now has taken the product and is now selling it to the b2b segment so now when we said we had the world's large you know and the country's largest pest control provider now we kind of shift focus and get more depth into the government side and lies with csr we have still not reached the b2c segment which we want to do in later half of the next year you just have to prioritize where you can get money faster uh, and when you build credibility right and hey make no mistake during a day i am working at some place but in the evening i am consumer and i have the same mosquito problem back at my home so happened with one of our construction customers they used it in their construction sites uh, you know it's one of the big name larson and tubro lnt right um, they used it for the sustainable angle of it and then you know as their employees got convinced you know 
many of them started to buy at their home, right? So we knew that that's a very smart way of doing B to B and eventually getting into C, right? Because you have already won there. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. I have won your confidence in your work premise. Now I don't have to prove you anything for you to take it back to your home. Very nice. It will take a little bit of time for us to be in every about 250 household, million households in India. But we'll get there, surely. I think you'll get there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's something that works, clearly. Yeah. And um, I will also use it. Soon. Sure. Should. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Prasad, thank you so much. It's thank been a you. pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Keep watching while I continue my conversation with Prasad and we'll be back soon.